Hey guys, I thought I would go ahead and show you how I actually come up with my meal plan for the week. So some people have asked like, how do I get all the recipes? So I thought I would kind of go through and do a little kind of demonstration on the computer, how I do it. But I want to show you first, the first thing that I do. So I basically just put um, like what I'm going to be having for the week. So for example, I know one night I'm going to have salmon. I know one night I'm going to have chicken. I know one night I'm going to have pork. Um, maybe one night I'm going to have ground turkey or ground beef or something like that. So I'm just going to go through and write down. And then if there's something special I want, like, oh, I'm not, that's out of focus. There we go. If there's something special I want, like a casserole or something I know we're going to be doing, you know, a certain night. Like, I might know that steaks we're having on Saturday. So then I just kind of do that. And then um, salmon is usually always on Mondays. And then I just kind of go through and see what day do I want what. So then maybe on Tuesday I'm going to do something ground turkey. And then Wednesday chicken. Thursday pork. And then Friday is usually fish fry. So, and then the weekends, I don't know. So that's pretty much how I start it. And then I will show you on the computer how I actually find recipes. Okay, so then I just pop on here and then let's say that I want to do, um, I want some type of air fryer chicken. So I'm just gonna put in air fryer chicken and then it comes up with a bunch of different recipes. But what I do next is I hit images. I always go to images and this is why. Because I'm a very visual person so I like to see what the finished product looks like. Um, so then I'm just going to kind of go through and just look at which ones look good. Um, just kind of and I, I just click on them and look. So here's air fryer chicken parmesan recipe and of course it's a skinny taste recipe ah, see I'm I just I don't know I'm drawn to skinny taste I guess so what I would do is go ahead and visit that website now skinny taste I know I don't have to tweak but what I would do is um, go to the website and then I would go down to the recipe my computer's slow this morning and then I would just basically look at what the ingredients are in the recipe to see if it is a recipe that I can tweak or if it's something that's just going to be way too crazy in points. So obviously I know with skinny taste there's no tweaking. She tells how many points it is on her website. So four um, points. So but what I would do is um, if I'm not sure if it's you know like a re let me go but let me find a recipe that's not skinny taste. Uh, let's see. So let's try this one. <clears throat> this is a Parmesan breaded fried chicken recipe. So I'm going to go to the website and so the websites that I go to is based on the thumbnail they use. So if they don't have good thumbnails, they're not going to get a click from me because that's how I look up my recipes so let's see this one's really slow all right so in this one i'm going to look up the ingredients and this one seems doable what i if it's one like this i pretty much know that i can make that low point if i don't know whether i can then what i'll do is come up here to my uh, ww page and i will create a recipe and then I'm going to go back. So this is air fryer, easy air fryer Parmesan breaded. Breaded chicken, I think it was called. I'm going to say how many people it's, oh, whoops. Oh, come on, get out of my way. I'm going to say how many people it's for. This one serves four. And then I'm just going to start adding the ingredients. 
So I know that's zero. So the first thing that I'll do is just add in the ones that have points just to give me a quick idea. And I can always go back later and finish putting it in, but I want to get a quick idea of what the points are going to be. So one third cup of grated cheese and one third cup of breadcrumbs. So go back to my recipe builder. So grated Parmesan. And I think I used Kraft. And we want a third of a cup. Update that, add another ingredient. The next thing was, I forgot already. Oh, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And then you have to decide which breadcrumbs you want to use. You can use uh, regular breadcrumbs. You can use um, panko breadcrumbs. Or you can use cornflakes. So let's see, cornflake crumbs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweak it, and I'm gonna put cornflake crumbs in there. So a third of a cup of cornflake crumbs. Um, so basically, you just add it all in, and then you're gonna go down here, and you can see that based on what I have in so far, it's gonna be two points per serving. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create that recipe, and then I can go back and finish it later. And then I'm gonna go back here, and I know this is a recipe that I wanna keep, so I'm going to add this to my Copy Me That app. Basically, that's an app that has, um, all, you can keep all your recipes in it. And um, go to the recipe, and then you can take out anything that you don't want. This is where you can kind of tweak it, take out things you don't want. So I'm gonna just confirm it the way it is. And then from there, you can create your shopping list based on this, um, based on what's in there. And this is the Copy Me That um, website, app, whatever it is. So I'm not going to showcase this, but that is what I use to put my recipes in um, to create my um, shopping list. Basically, I create a meal plan in here. I do it on paper, but then I also do it in here. So, I, for example, I put in here one pan roasted pork tenderloin, and then um, you can just put in the dates what, that you want things, and then you go to your shopping list, and you can add your recipe stuff to your shopping list. Um, so let's say I want to do this one. I'm going to add it to my shopping list. And then I'm just going to uncheck. Um, okay, I know I already have flour. I know I already have eggs. I have Italian seasoning. I have salt and pepper. I have cooking oil. Um, so you just go through like that. Add it to your list. Done. Shopping list. And then you have your shopping. You have your things added. So I'm not going to showcase that. Um, Maybe I'll do a video just on that. I actually don't showcase particular apps because I do kind of use different ones. I also have Paprika, copy me that. I'm kind of playing around right, right now with some of these um, recipe things. So I don't really want to promote, but I just want to give you an idea of what's out there and how you can um, plan that. So then I would just go ahead, go back, and then I would just continue on, go back to Google, um, the next thing, so now I have my chicken recipe that I'm gonna use. Now I want to do um, some type of ground turkey recipe. And of course, I wanna keep it on images. And then I'll do the same thing for that. Here's a stuffed shells with turkey. Um, for my lunch preps, I like to try and do like, um, I like to put it in that way, so let's say for this week, I want to do chicken. So I'm going to do chicken lunch prep and hit images. And then you get all these different ideas of chicken. So like I've, this one, I've done this one. Um, so you get just different ideas of what people are using. And, um, you know, you got your regular bento bowls and you've got your full meals and you have your little salads and so that's pretty much how I get the inspiration for it. 
And then um, for breakfast, um, breakfast, I guess I really don't, I kind of do my own thing for breakfast um, because I really like eggs. I really like overnight oats, but you could do the same thing for that. If you're wanting to do a breakfast prep, just hit in breakfast, breakfast prep and see what you get. You're going to get a lot of different um, images and that's how I get inspired and then I might tweak them from there. So even, you know, something that has different things with it. Now, you may not like something that's in there. Well, you can always replace it with something else. So that is how I pretty much do my meal planning um, and how I come up with the recipes. And then, you know, I always tweak them later, but I try to keep them in a, some type of recipe builder um, just so that I can have them for later. Um, because I, I, even though I don't make them all the time. So as you can see, I have in here a bunch of different recipes and some of these you guys I've just thrown in here and haven't even made them like this copycat apple piece, piece of quesadilla burger. I mean, there's just so much. Um, this one, oh, I gotta make this one. This one is from Joan's Pointed Plate. I have saved that one in there. Y'all know she's my girl. Um, so that is pretty much how I, how I do it. Um, so once you slowly start doing that, then it just kind of becomes habit and it becomes so easy. Um, so I hope that this video helped everybody and um, I hope that you will give something a try. Just start slow, start with one thing at a time and build up from then. If you have other suggestions for me, of things that you want to see how I do, let me know in the comments. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. So if you're not if you're new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I am Christy and I'm planning us healthy.